In August 1975, the murder of 17-year-old North Webster teen Laurel Jean Mitchell left residents of the small town stunned and shaken. Forty-six years later cold case investigators with the Indiana State Police are seeking the public's assistance in trying to solve a murder case that occurred in either Kosciuszko or Noble County. According to police captain and former detective Kevin Smith, a then 17-year-old Laurel Jean Mitchell was last seen leaving work at Epworth Forest in North Webster at approximately 10.15 p.m. on August 6, 1975. She was found dead the next day in the Elkhart River in rural Noble County. Today marks 40 years since 17-year-old Laurel Mitchell's body was found along the Elkhart River. It's a case that's gone unsolved now for four decades, and her family is still hoping for justice. Mitchell disappeared August 6, 1975, as she was walking along Epworth Forest Road in Kosciuszko County. She had planned to meet friends at a local amusement park. She never made it. Her body was found the next morning in the Elkhart River, nearly 15 miles away. She was sexually assaulted and drowned. Police believe she knew her killer. Last year, they said they were looking for a person who may have stopped by the nearby fire station that night. If you have information that might solve this cold case, call the Indiana State Police. It's believed Laurel Jean Mitchell knew the person who assaulted her and Indiana State Police think the person may have been in a group of four or five girls and boys who were from Delphi, Indiana and may have performed as a singing group at the Cokesbury Inn in Epworth Forest on August 6, 1975. The members of the group were approximately 16 to 22 years old at the time and traveled in one vehicle and it's believed that they stopped at the North Webster Fire Station at around 10.30 p.m. that evening. On August 7, 1975, on the following morning, 15 miles away, a man and his son who were fishing in the Elkhart River in Noble County, discovered the body of a young woman in the water. The body was quickly identified as Laurel. An autopsy revealed that Laurel's cause of death had been drowning. She showed no obvious signs of trauma aside from several bruises on her hands and shoulder. Laurel was fully clothed, however it was determined that she had been sexually assaulted. There are speculations that there may be a connection between Laurel's death and the murder of Lori Ann Brickley, a 13-year-old girl who was murdered about a year before Laurel in nearby Markle, Indiana. Even though it's been 46 years since Laurel Jean Mitchell's death, there's still hope someone may come forward with the missing piece of the puzzle which will ultimately solve the almost five-decade-old mystery.